The story of Thanksgiving is familiar to all of us. The pursuit of economic, religious, and personal freedom. The hope of a new land. But the true power of this story is not just in its retelling, but also in how its themes get repeated throughout our country's history. One such example marked the permanent establishment of registered Angus cattle in the United States. And it happened here on the shores of Lake Michigan in the small town of Lake Forest, Illinois. Located about 30 miles north of Chicago, the town straddles the open waters of Lake Michigan with the headwaters of the Mississippi River. Its strategic location and the region's vast but untapped economic potential attracted Scottish investment and settlers here in the 1800s, many of whom helped construct canals to link the two great waterways and open up the western frontier. As Chicago grew and became the epicenter for livestock marketing and meatpacking, Scotsman James Anderson and George Finley saw potential in raising higher quality cattle. Anderson had earlier helped clear the wooded areas that now comprise Lake Forest College, and payment for his efforts were made in land on the west end of town. He wanted to populate these pastures with cows. So in the summer of 1878, the partners brought to Lake Forest America's first herd of registered Angus cattle, a bull and five Angus females. James Anderson uh, came from uh, north of Aberdeen, uh, in Aberdeenshire, in farm country. Uh, he came to this country in the, uh, eight, about 1857. George Finley came into the picture, uh, was born later, didn't really come on the scene until the 1870s. I believe married one of Anderson's daughters. Um, so there was a, a little core of the people from this very particular part of Scotland, east, northeast Scotland, that came here. Caring for these cattle on the ship across the Atlantic was a young man named Alexander Kelly. So he had a young man, teenager really, who um, they could trust to bring these cattle over through uh, by boat into Canada and then down from Canada through the lakes to uh, find to Lake Forest. John V. Farwell by this time had this little farm which was just west of the southwest of the downtown area and that would have been probably the place where the cattle first went. Um, they later bought other parts in Lake County, some different farm areas, but I think that would have been the, the close handy place right there and it was, a, it was the farm. The partnership's Angus cattle won numerous awards at the Christmas Fat Stock Show in Chicago, the predecessor of the International Livestock Exposition and the Illinois State Fair and St. Louis Exposition. Within a few years, the Angus breed was common across the Midwest, firmly established in the country's burgeoning agricultural industry. Interestingly, many of Kelly's descendants, including Brian Krusmark, continue to reside in Lake Forest. This was uh, the home of my great-grandfather when he came over from Scotland, and uh, we've had family family here ever since. You know, he came over as a shepherd uh, from Scotland with the Angus cattle, and he, I think he made a couple of trips, I'm not sure, but I know the one trip they said he was icebound in the St. Lawrence Seaway for about six weeks, and after that he just, he said that was enough. I think, I think there is a really good uh, lesson from their story, that they were long-range planners. They didn't worry about this quarter. They didn't worry about this decade. They worried, they were thinking generations out. And that's basically been where the American dream has come from. People thinking, what'll be the impact if I make an investment now, I may not see the results of it for a long time. And these guys were thinking about that when they settled here. The Anderson Finley herd ultimately was transferred to Southeast Kansas where it provided bulls to some of the West's largest ranches, including the XIT Ranch in Texas. Anderson and Finley dissolved their partnership in 1908 with a herd dispersion, but vestiges of the herd remained intact until the 1990s. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of I Am Angus. Today, the Angus breed is the most popular in America but it took a lot of hard work and commitment by countless many for this to happen. 
From all of us at the American Angus Association, happy Thanksgiving. We are truly blessed to live in such a great country and to be able to share these stories with you. If you'd like to watch this program again, please visit angus.org where all of these segments are posted online and plan to join us on the evening of December 3rd right here on RFD TV for our next special edition of I Am Angus. Until next time, I'm Doug Medlock.